You know, I want to talk about something real quick. The concept of grown men versus little boys and what sets them apart. I mean, in the beginning, because I imagine if you're already with him, you know he grown. Because we always talk about what separates ladies from quote unquote thoughts, but not enough about us. So here's some things I feel like let you know when you're dealing with a grown ass man. Like one thing I see a lot of dudes do that a grown man won't is be concerned with to ask about a body count, which means how many people you've had sex with. I never understand the concept behind that anyway. Like I get when we was younger, we was taught that if a girl had sex with a lot of dudes, that she would have sex with just anybody. But when you get older, you should know a woman can have sex with a hundred dudes and lock it up for one. Meanwhile, a girl that's a virgin or just kept her partners on the low could bust it open for your best friend while you at home losing in 2K. So body count don't mean shit. Another thing that lets you know when you're dealing with a grown ass man is that he's going to help out when he can. Not just whenever you're unable to or need him to. Anytime he can. And no, I'm not talking about splurging or just being financially irresponsible or trying to buy your love or none of that shit. I'm talking about if the trash need taken out, if the gas need pumping, if you need the groceries taken in. Like, yeah, you could do all these little things yourself, but what good is another spectator? Relationships and dating is teamwork, right? So what grown man you know is cool just sitting in the stands while you do all the work? But another thing grown men don't do is we don't trip over a little petty physical shit. Like cellulite, little stretch marks, bonnet, or legs that ain't been shaved in a little while. Now, ladies, I know probably some of y'all even looking at me like, boy, you tripping, but hear me out. If you're a 10 out of 10 mentally, which you probably are if you watch my videos, shouldn't you have some leeway for physical imperfection? But not only that, I just feel like whenever you're a grown man, you're going to understand that some things occur naturally with age or kids, or maybe she's just too busy to want to start from scratch doing her hair in the morning. But you know, that especially goes for things she can't control. Like as men, we can control our big ass bellies, but what we do, throw some tattoos or fake chains over it and call ourselves a boss. You know, it's only you young dudes that feel like a girl supposed to be fresh out the plastic wrapper 24-7 all her life. Hair perfect, breath perfect, skin perfect, body perfect. It don't work like that. Oh, and one more thing. If you get turned up with a dude, like if you get mad at him or angry and you start yelling and all this other stuff and he stays calm, you probably got you a grown ass man. But if you get loud and he get loud and you get a little louder and he get a little louder and he just match your emotion every time you get more emotional, you know he too young for you. I don't know, I just feel like as a man, you're not supposed to be getting in no screaming match with no woman. For all of that, she might as well be dating her sister. You're supposed to compliment her energy, not mirror it. Well, overall, a grown man is going to be somebody that you could see yourself with for the long term and possibly even raise a child with. Not somebody that makes you feel like you need help raising his ass.